Welcome to Politic Then Why with Sky Behind the Curtain, where we speak with industry insiders about what's going on in city and state government and politics. And right now I have the pleasure of being with Liz Misa. She is with Ostroff Associates, where she is a lobbyist, and she actually joined the firm during COVID just eight months ago. And she specializes in healthcare clients, servicing healthcare clients and has background in healthcare. So Liz, we'd love to hear from your perspective, what's going on and, and how do we get out of this pandemic? <laughs> well, that's a great question, Sky. And I will say, you know, one of the benefits of, you know, working through a pandemic is really learning what lessons um, have we learned and how the healthcare landscape is changing and will change, you know, post COVID. Um, you know, I think we're seeing a lot of trends in terms of um, where patients are choosing to access care, whether it's outside of a hospital and in their home. We, we're seeing a lot of utilization in telehealth. Um, we're seeing movement from congregate settings to home settings. So I think, you know, there's a lot of lessons learned in, in terms of trends for 2021. And then how do you counsel clients when things are changing so much? How does it tie back into the government and political landscape? Well, I think the key is really understanding where the healthcare market is heading and how organizations need to change with the changing time of, um, of COVID, whether it's increasing utilization with um, IT technology platforms, um, using telehealth, um, really moving from congregate settings to supportive housing, integrating healthcare with housing. There's really a ton of, you know, trends that we're seeing um, that I think, you know, it's, it's pretty exciting to counsel clients to better understand, you know, what to expect in the next, you know, 12 to 24 months. Do you see any different types of organizations popping up like telehealth and telemedicine has been around for a while, but the way it's being implemented is very different now more than ever. So do you see that like opening up a, a space for different types of companies in New York? Yeah, great question. And I think we've seen a lot of new startups, a lot of millennials trying to figure out, you know, how to crack the code and solve a problem in real time, you know, whether it's um, IT platforms for the elderly who are stuck home to talk to their parents, you know, we're seeing trends of moving healthcare services that you would traditionally receive in a hospital, whether it's an EKG, an ultrasound, or an x-ray. Um, clients are able to receive those services now in the home. So there's just a lot of creativity in the field. <laughs> what other <laughs> insights do you have for us, Liz? Well, I think one really big insight that we've seen in 2021, um, the health department just released really big news, an 1115 waiver that attempts to reduce um, health disparity and health equity in New York. And I think that's a trend, you know, that's very interesting, very much needed. I know, you know, when COVID hit, it hit disproportionate populations, uh, communities of color, the elderly, the disabled, um, individuals with socioeconomic backgrounds um, that were not well off. And so, you know, I think what we're seeing is a trend in terms of targeting investments to community need and having the community really have a say on what they need and how certain resources will um, reduce disparities and equity. And it all comes back down to government and politics, which is the theme of the show behind the curtain on politics and why with Sky. So thank you, Liz Misa from Ostrov Associates for giving us some insight into the industry. Thank you, Sky.